which is good now what next we need to do is we simply need to create a for loop and then process each image one by one so again for loop for i file name in and we are going to enumerate over all the file names we have now let's simply print processing image and the name of our file file name so now we will simply read the file so cv2 dot sorry so image we will create cv2 dot im read and what we have to read file name let's also resize it so that all the files are in a particular width so for this we are going to use a package im utils i think i forgot to yeah so import im utils so you, so you also need to install this package as well so im utils dot resize image and width we are going to keep it as 600 so this is done now let's uh, get the height and the width of our image and we can do that using image dot shape okay now let's create a blob so what we have done we have uh, we are reading the file here we have resized it and then we are, we are creating the image uh, blob from that image and then we will pass that blob image into our face detection model so for image blob we will simply write cv2.dnn blob from image okay so this is done uh, we have created the blob now we just need to pass this in our face detector so face detector dot set input image blob now we need to fetch the results so I'm going to take face detection and we'll simply do face detector dot forward now this phase detection contains the results of our phase uh, detector model so we need to get the conference score first because based on the conference score we are going to decide whether to accept that image or not so phase detections so here we are putting a check if the phase detection results and its confidence is greater than 50% then only we are going to consider it otherwise we simply ignore it now so now once we have the once we have detected the face in an image we are going to extract the boundary box uh, the face portion of the image and then we will pass that face portion into our face recognition model to extract the face embeddings so let's do that so face detections Okay, so what we have done is that we have extracted the start x and x and the start y and y values from the phase detection results and then we have created a face image. Now this particular face image just contains the image of the face and not the whole body. So we are going to uh, create a face blob out of this and then we will simply pass it uh, to our uh, model. So now we are going to pass our face blob into our face recognizer and then uh, we will fetch the results. So I will take as take it as face recognitions face recognizer dot forward. Okay. 
now okay so till now we have uh, extracted the face embeddings in this so this contains the results of the face embeddings now we just need to pass we just need to save it in a list and then uh, we will simply save the list into a pickle file so let me create a list somewhere here let me remove this so we will create two list face embeddings and face names so this will contain the face embeddings and this will contain the name of that particular uh, embedding now because we are also saving the name so we need to extract the name uh, from here so i'll take a name equals to file name dot split okay great now this contains the name of the file uh, so let's save all the data which we have extracted so face embeddings dot append face recognitions and in the similar way we will save the face names perfect so what is going to happen is that in this for loop you will see that it's uh, it will process each image one by one it will extract the face embeddings and the name and it will simply save this all results in a uh, list now we are just going to save uh, we are just going to create a dictionary uh, of all the uh, data we have saved so i'm going to do data equals to embeddings and this contains the face embeddings in the same way names and face names now this data contains all the data we have for our trained images now let's create few files uh, which will be the pickle file so first of all we are going to take a label encoder and uh, labels here we are going to pass the names in the same way recognizer let's save all the data in the same way we will create another file which will contains the label data okay all done so what we have done is that here we have loaded our phase direction model we have loaded our recognition model and then um, here we have stored all the files as a list inside this file names list then we are processing each image one by one we are reading the image file we are uh, converting it into an image blob and then we are passing it as a in our phase detector and then getting the results so we are only considering the images which has 50% and more uh, confidence score otherwise we are ignoring it once we have the face we are extracting the face bounding box and then uh, we are passing that face image or oh, sorry we are converting that into a blob then we are passing it into the recognition model we have and then we are simply saving all the face uh, embeddings and the name into a list finally we are saving all the results in this data dictionary and then we are uh, 
creating two files which contains this so this file contains the face embeddings and this file contains the label uh, labels of the names of the face embeddings so let me run this code and see if it, it shows any errors or not so let me run this code um, so right click run training okay process finished with exit code 0 which means there was no errors in the code and you can see that it has processed each image which is inside our database directory now if you go into your project directory you will see that it has created two files two pickle files which contains uh, the face embeddings and the name of the face embeddings data in our next script we are going to use these two files to detect and recognize the image the face image of that particular person so I guess that's all for this video. Uh, in our next video, we will create, we will work on the recognize Python script, which will basically inference over a video file and then we'll recognize the names of the persons inside the video file. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.